Hello everyone. Welcome to Data Logic with Shivam. Today I will cover some interview question which was asked during Power BI interview in Marsh Marsh and McLean company. So Marsh and McLean company is a insurance based company where these question have asked in Power BI interview. So I will cover these interview question. So there were around 18 question. Uh, which I have taken the list uh, into this PDF. So I will uh, provide the link of this PDF in my description. So you can download it from there. Also, you can connect me on LinkedIn also as well. So you can ask me uh, there as well for the link. So we will cover these questions. Uh, total, there are 18 questions as I said, but I have included here the uh, I, I have included main question, which I think is most important question. Also, there is one more, uh, so two DEX question as well, based on uh, this data set. This data set. So I will cover this question in last. So I will request you guys to watch this video till last. It is very important nowadays. People are asking these questions. So before moving forward, I will request you guys to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. So first question is, what are deployment pipelines in Power BI? Have you used it and how you change the connection in each environment? So you can say, yes, I have used it. And for the deployment pipeline, you can say like that. Yes, I have used it. The deployment process lets you clone content from one stages in the deployment pipeline to another typically from development to test and from test to production. So if I'll take you through this deployment pipeline. So if you see here, so we have multiple deployment pipeline like development, test and production. These we, these we can create it. And so these are the deployment pipeline, which help us to clone our data from deployment to uh, development to test. Now, the main question here was is is to how to change the connection in each environment. So whenever we put, whenever we clone our data from, uh, from report from dev to test, uh, uh, there, there must be a different environment for each and every report and for each and every environment. For development there, uh, your backend might be a development uh, SQL server and for test, uh, there might be a SQL server for uh, the test as well. So how you can change the connection? So there is a button. So the main question is how you change the connection in each environment. So you can change the connection only in test and production. So there is a button called this, this uh, lightning button. You can say, uh, you can see here, you can click here and then you will have two options here uh, to set the deployment, uh, deployment rules. Like uh, you can add the data source rules or you can uh, add the parameter rules. Okay, so this this uh, this is how you can provide the answer. Now moving ahead to the next question is what is difference between contributor and member? So if I go back to my PDF, so you, for contributor role you can say we have all viewer role access and then it is ideal for developer. We can publish, create, edit, delete content such as report in the workspace. Then schedule data refresh on premises gateway, modify gateway connection setting and subscribe to subscribe other to report and member role. Uh, all all contributor role access will be there for member and then uh, you can also add members and other with lower permission. Also publish and publish and change permission for an app is also as well uh, a very plus benefit into the member role. Uh, you can update an app, share items in app, including semantic model, allow others to reshare item and manage semantic model permission. So this is how you can uh, provide the answer on difference between contributor and member. Now, if I, uh, the next question, if we move, if I want to provide access for report, not for entire workspace, can I do it? And if yes, then how can do it? So interview asked here, interviewer want to know if we can share our, our report uh, without giving a workspace access to a person, to a user. Okay. So I can tell you, so we have this, once we publish our report in workspace, we have this, and when we open that report in workspace, we have this button called share. Okay. So once we click on this uh, share button, it will open a box where we can uh, provide the email ID as well. 
and uh, uh, e email id and then we can share i have noted down all the steps here uh, into into this pdf if we if you go will if you go here then you will find all of those steps here uh, where it is it is is yeah we can go to the power bi and then click on share and provide the access email uh, provide the user email id so this is how you can provide the answer now moving ahead uh, what are what is uh, incremental refresh and limitations of so you can say for incremental refresh let's go to the pdf incremental refresh in power bi is a feature that allow you to refresh only the data that has changed since the last refresh rather than refreshing all data every time so this can significantly reduce the time and resources required for data refresh especially for large data set so you can you can say like that and also the next question the uh, is the limitations so uh, there are some limitation as well like we need a premium feature like power bi pro uh, power bi premium per user power bi pro with a dedicated capacity power bi premium so we need premium feature as well for incremental refresh also uh, there will be there should be a date time column requirement uh, you need to have a date or stamp, uh, time time uh, time stamp column in your data set to identify which rows has changed since the last refresh uh, direct query incremental refresh is not supported for the direct query connection and also uh, then in uh, for example in initial full load when you first set up incremental refresh you typically need to perform a full refresh to populate the initial data set so these are some kind of uh, limitations we have in, in incremental refresh so there are other uh, other question as well which they have asked so i have noted down so you can go ahead and check this like gateway and all those things which i have not included here uh, in the pdf then uh, the next question is can you tell me the latest update in power bi and you can tell me one or two so this is so we should always know uh, one or two three updates from last month or last to last month at least so that we can provide uh, those update to interviewer so now moving ahead with the next question so can you how can you configure field parameter so how so we can say that we can go to modeling so i have provided the each and every steps here as well in pdf so you can go ahead there as well and i'll tell you here also so we can go to modeling tab and then we can click on new parameter and then we can click on fields once we click on the fields we can provide the parameter name here and then we can add some column as well whatever we need here and then create it <clears throat> and once it is created we can add it into the visualization um, then moving ahead is how can i create date table with help of dex so we can say here calendar and calendar auto dex function uh, the next question is once the date table is created i need a new uh, new column which i which will have give me day name and can you can you tell me the dex so here uh, there should be a new column which should have the day name according to the date so here you can say uh, we can use format uh, let me go to the pdf uh, you can say you can see here form we can use format and we can use this this uh, this format to have the day name <coughs> now the next question is i have a requirement where i have to use inactive relationship how i how can i use it so we can use uh, use relationship function here also i have uh, created one video for use relationship uh, dex function in hindi so if you want to watch in hindi you can watch it now what is cross filter direction and how many types of cross filter direction available in power bi so you can say cross filter direction refers to the way in which filters applied on one table affect the data displayed in related table within a power bi report so we have two types of uh, cross filter direction single directional and both directional let me show you into tab here if you can see here this is a cross filter direction and we can uh, select single and both here now moving ahead to the power bi and let's move to the dex question let me first show you the data set so we have this data set employee number employee name location country and status flag let's go to the question now first question is new calculated table which will give location country and with number of employees okay so they want a new calculated table here uh, with the column location country and number of employees so what we can do we can use 
uh, we can create a table and I'll new table will create I will name it as summarize test not test summarize table so we can use summarize function uh, for the requirement where I need to use the table which is sheet 1 right now then um, my group by column will be location then what else they ask is city, city. so I'll take sheet, sorry country then I'll they want count of employees so I'll name this count of employee and I'll use count function here for counting the employee number okay I'll close the bracket and hit enter now you can see we got the result 433 three. right let's check for the for the location Barcelona how many entries do we have for Barcelona 1 2 3 and 4 and for Sydney 1 2 3 and for Berlin 1 2 3 here yeah. so our result for the summarize table is correct okay now the second question they have asked is now I want only those count which will have status flag as yes okay so they want into this next question they want location country and number of employees and only those number of employees which have a status flag as yes okay so for that one we need a filter so we what we will use we will on top of that we will use calculate table here okay so our table will be this one and then i'll use filter and then i'll use sheet one here then i'll filter the status flag as yes and close the bracket and then hit enter okay so now barcelona 3 sydney 1 and berlin 1 let's check the let's validate the result so barcelona with yes flag i'll put the flag here yes here only so barcelona we have three yeah and for berlin one and for sydney one so our result is also same so these are the question which have asked uh, during the interview uh, in marsh and mclen i hope you guys like the videos uh, for this pdf which i have created so there are as i told you there are eight, 17 to 18 question which they have asked so you can uh, refer this pdf uh, and I'll paste the link of this PDF into the description box. Also, you can get this uh, link as well uh, if you can, uh, if you will provide, uh, if you ping me in the LinkedIn as well, you can ping me there as well. So I hope you like the video. Uh, please subscribe and like this video. For you, it is nothing but for even one subscribe will help me to motivate and create such kind of videos. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. We'll meet you in next video. Thank you.